I came up with the greatest idea ever. I hate runners up not being rewarded. It makes me angry. So with Squirrel Girl, there's this thing going on where she's like right at the beginning of her Squirrel Girl movie, which is going to have America Chavez and um, I don't like the Middle Eastern woman. She's not in good enough shape and her outfit looks like shit. So uh, a, a different... Um, and a different terrorist jihadist, one that actually jihads and actually wins in bed, a better win, for real. Uh, and, uh, you know, they're going to uh, be the, the sexy, you know, like, teenage girls who's like, snap selfies and have nice asses. Anyways, but I, I got distracted by ass. I'm sorry. Back to Squirrel Girl. She is punching at the villain, and he's, like, Diamond Man or something. And, he, you know, he's, like, robbing jewel stores in, in like, you know, some, uh, the Chicago. I don't know. Because nobody's ever there. And he's got that giant uh, water trench, you know what I mean? So you can employ it. She, like, flips and, like, sproings off of a flagpole, you know what I mean? <laughs> With her squirrel strength. And, like, soars over the, the, the big old canal over to the diamond store. Because she's got squirrel lightness and soarability, you know. Yeah. Like, she's, like, you know, one of those squirrels. And she, uh, you know, like, it flies at him and he turns around. And from, like, the camera's perspective, it, like, diamonds in the center and splits into different versions. You know, like, every angle. And then it's every runner-up for the squirrel girl role. As they all split out, like, it's, like, every time-space timeline of her instantly. You know, and they all, like, fly every direction that's not him in the center. You know, missing him as they all slam into walls in the ground and land. And then he's like, oh, no! As then they all start beating the shit out of him. You know what I mean? Because there's so many of them. And they're bouncing all over the place and like you know grabbing each other like each other's hands in midair and like twisting around and letting go and like flying into him like they're you know like turning each other into projectiles to slam into him yeah you know giving each other like boosts up into the air and then somebody else like you know grabs one of the squirrel girls and body slams another squirrel girl down into him as she's like punching at him like i don't know it's <laughs> yeah you know like a slam dunk yeah what you're saying is the they uh the villain counts on getting away from people by splitting up all the timelines of their existence and then some version of of some part of something connected to them will supposedly be like a cancer void or something but instead squirrel girls you know she's all nut so then she just has backup squirrels that kick his ass i like that yeah exactly yeah. it's awesome Listen, I like my squirrel girls nutty, I like them slutty, and I like them buddy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what I'm trying to say here is that the squirrel girl, you know, these these other runners-up are all in it, too. And squirrel girl needs to like nuts. And all we're doing is we're casting every bitch who really likes nuts, and we'll know. We'll know, because you fucking fire them if they ain't eating nuts all the time. They gotta like nuts, at least some type of nuts. You know what I mean? They gotta, they gotta be the nut. And not just man nuts. No, not just man nuts. <laughs> like any good pizza pie, you gotta have 12 pieces. So, Squirrel Girl, she's gotta split out into 12 Squirrel Girls. And her superpower, of course, afterward, is that she, you know, uh, can summon them whenever she wants. You know, they split out from whatever they're doing comedically, cracking nuts open, you know, yeah. reading a book on, like, a tree in the sunlight. You know, every time she summons them, they go, ah, god damn it, as they vanish in the book, yeah. you know, like, they have a second's warning as it, like, drops to the ground and stuff. Yeah. And then they all split out from her again and she kicks the shit out of people, you know? But I got, um, like, they should probably have outfits that are, like, themed, like, you know, there's, like, you know, the 12 Clovers of the Rainbow? Yeah, there's 12. Um, like, they're, like, rainbowed out. Yeah, exactly. They're different shades of nut colors that are really Which, beautiful. to describe this a little, because I love being scientific, um, you know the, uh, red, yellow, and blue? You know when you mix those and you get purple and green and orange? Then, um, those are additional colors, <clears throat> and that's what the rainbow is doing. It's refracting out either direction into the ultraviolet on one side and the, you know, whatever that's called, retosphere on the other side. So, there's additional colors and quality rainbows up to 12. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, that's, that's excellent. Then they can all have them fit their color they prefer that they want to choose, you know, and it all works out. Yeah. And like I said, then Benedict Cucumber Patch can bang the ugliest squirrel girl. Yeah. Also, I'm super cruel. 
So don't tell any of the squirrel girls that they that they're also have gotten the role. Until they actually have it. Oh, don't tell them which one's the primary one? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, oh, make it a reality show. Yeah. Yeah, do a whole reality show where they're, like, show off their, like, nut eating and, like, super gymnastic abilities and crap. Yeah, that's why I need them young. I need them fresh. I need them to win the Olympics for China. That's (laughs) what I'm saying, baby. Yeah. I need them... I need them illegally young for the competition. I need like, I need them like 12, but I need them to look like they're 16, you know? Yeah. That sounds like mixed genetics. That's how you grow that quick. Sorry, I'm just eating nuts. Or licking pussy.